I know you always see different things when you watch the film. What do you think after this one? Um, I thought we did some very good things. Uh, you know, we made good decisions on, uh, I thought, on the offensive line. Uh, did some good things. They uh, presented some difficult uh, looks, and we, we uh, studied and were ready to play. I thought Garrett did some good things. Uh, competed well uh, in the second half. Was pretty pretty sharp. Uh, and I thought defensively, we, physically, we played good up front. And I thought the corners played probably as well as they played uh, this year. When you had the four short uh, touchdown runs from inside the red zone, did you see anything different in the offensive line, the way they blocked on those? Uh, no, not really. Uh, we, we called pretty much the same, same plays we normally do and played against Tulane. Uh, we ran the same thing. We ran the one option play. Uh, which we hadn't run, but we practiced every every day, you know, when we were ready for it. And Garrett got it in, so that was good. But Garrett's moved around a lot, it seems like, as the season's gone on, and you've moved him out, you know, rolling on and stuff like that. How much does that help? In well, he's uh, what he's done is he's, he's uh, ad-libbed, you know, he's, he's pulled it down on his own when you see those things happen, and he's made some plays. Uh, I thought the throw he made to uh, Derek on the on the uh, long touchdown when he scrambled, you know, been trying to get into because he does have a lot of arm to look down the field as he scrambles if he has room to try to get a bigger play and if he doesn't then pull it down and run. And, and I thought he he did exactly that there. You know, he could have run right away but he took a look down the field because he knew that he had air. So that, that's kind of what you want the quarterback to do. I mean, he seems like a deceptively good runner. He is a good runner. Uh, in fact, I told him that about a month ago that I realize he's a little faster than I thought he was you know he, he claims he isn't but but I think he's a little faster than I thought he was when you talked about him ad-libbing and pulling it down and running did you sort of have him reined in a little more at the beginning of the year have you allowed him to do more or is it just a confidence level no, from I him think, as he I reads think it's defenses a, it's a confidence level and and you know I you know I've encouraged him to take advantage of of uh, his skills because that's something that the defense has to defend. And, you know, like if I was playing quarterback, they don't have to defend that part of the game. <laughs> and so when a quarterback has that stuff, it's good uh, that you get to utilize it. After Memphis came out and scored that field goal, what was said on the sideline to just rally the guys so well? I mean, you talking about this, the one in the second half? Yes, the second half. Um, well, I think, uh, you know, we that drive, we've missed about four tackles. And I know, I, I know, Mace was uh, addressed it when they when they came. I thought that the when the offense you know kind of answered it, it kind of re, re, uh, revitalized everybody again too. So so that was positive. Darius has really picked up the last two games. Is that just kind of getting over injury or? I think it's a little of both. I think it's a little of Garrett getting uh, you know a little sharper, and I think he's healthier. Uh, so I think it's a combination of both. Looking ahead to UCF, you're three and one in conference right now. How important of a game is that on the road? Well, you know, if we want to win the conference championship, which which has kind of been what we wanted to do uh, from day one, we we started with the thought of, of possibly if we could win the Baylor game, maybe get on a roll and maybe be a BCS kind of team. That's kind of what you always want to come into the season thinking. Our second thought was to uh, do something we hadn't done before, and that's win the conference championship. And, to do that, you got to win on the road in those places, and so it's a tough place to win. But we, uh, I think, we match up uh, probably, you know, having gone down there in that championship game three years ago or two years ago, whatever it was. I think it's three now. Uh, uh, we match up pretty well with them, and then of course playing them last year, we matched up well with them again. So, you know, we're going to have to play our best game, but uh, we can beat them and we can win. Considering the way UCF started the season with the uh, with the ban by the NCAA, which again has been altered in the last week, but are you surprised that they've come out and played as well as they have this year? Um, not really, because George does a great job in all phases of the of the games, uh, offense, defense, and special teams. They're very well coached, and they've got good packages. Along with that, obviously, they got some talent. I mean, they got some. I mean, I think this is the most talented team we've played this year, uh, skill and. Uh, just the big guys. So, you know, we're going to have to be, we're going to be in a real physical game and we're going to have to play well to do.
the joiner, did you, was he a safety originally? Uh, he originally was a safety. He came in high school, he played safety and uh, running back. And uh, so we, we took him as a uh, athlete, knowing that he could play somewhere for us. And uh, he started at safety and then we went uh, to, to uh, to a linebacker. So he could step in? Yeah, we've been repping him uh, both places because we had some injuries back there. And he's a smart kid, so.